Oh man, I have been tagged so many times about this TikTok video where you want to know if this Wi-Fi signal video is real or is it fake. Well, let's have a look. I wanted a creative way to have an artful living room without having, you know, all the necessary electronics. Yeah, showing. that's fair. So we built this three-sided pedestal uh -oh. and we hid our Wi-Fi router and our cable uh... box inside. And then I just spin it. It hides all of our cords and all of our electronics. Ice. And lets me have a stylish space. Yeah, poor guy got absolutely flamed in the comments about how this would impact the Wi-Fi signal. But does it? If so, is it a significant reduction? So let's test this. Okay, here's the router out on the table. Here's my link speed at 1,134 megabits per second right next to the router. Let's go outside and take another reading. This is the medium location. Look at that, still 1,134 megabits per second. Beautiful. Let's go to the most furthest point in my house and see what kind of reading I'm gonna get there. And here we go, it is going to be 162 megabits per second. Okay, so those are the speeds reading without anything blocking the Wi-Fi router. Now, I have a bunch of materials to put in front of the router to see if any of them will actually impact the Wi-Fi speed. Let's start easy before we ramp things up. I'm gonna start with your typical Amazon cardboard box because, well, why not? Okay, test number two, Amazon cardboard box. Let's figure out a way to stick this router in here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna shove the router in there and, and make this thing nice and encased in there. Yeah, that's, that, that's pretty good. Okay, let's do the readings again. So right by the router, inside my Amazon box, we have here 1,134 megabits per second. Cool, let's head on out to the medium location and see what kind of reading we're gonna get there. And over here, we're gonna get 816 megabits per second. So a reduction once it's surrounded by that cardboard box. Let's go to the most furthest point and we're gonna see 146 megabits per second. Okay, next up, how about surrounding the router with a bunch of plastic, like a suitcase, for example, as you would. And let's remove the router from the Amazon box, chuck that away, get my suitcase in here, and then see if I can find a way to kind of have this thing balanced inside as I zip it up. Okay, now, well, okay, I suppose it's done. Let's go check it out. 1,134 megabits per second link speed right here. Let's go out to position number two, the medium range one, 612 megabits per second. Okay, speed drops again. Let's go back inside to the furthest point and now we're gonna get 146 megabits per second. Okay, now things are getting serious. How about surrounding the router with metal? Like placing it in one of these? Okay, at the suitcase it comes, and next up, I found this kind of oldish metal pot in my garage. I don't know where it's from even. Let's go see if it will house the router this way. Uh, now I need to stand it up somehow. Oh, I have an idea. Yes, okay, we've gone super high tech with this amazing tissue box as a holder. Big budget production stuff here, but more importantly, link speed, 1,134 megabits per second, right next to the router. Let's head back outside, medium range. We're looking at, oh, 162 megabits per second. What a drop. Let's go to the most furthest point and see, 130 megabits per second. Okay, let's go weird here. How about turn foil? And then we can say it's a wrap. All right, out of the metal pen it goes. Get rid of my high-tech stand here. What have we got left? We've got the tin foil. Seriously? Yep, tin foil. Do not try this at home, people. All right, tin foil <laughs> wrapped my router. Looks pretty good, I suppose. Let's go check out the speed. 1,134 megabits per second. That doesn't change. Head to the second location, and we're sitting at 612 megabits per second and then head out to the most furthest point, 146 megabits per second. Okay, let's summarize everything so we can see where we stand. Here's everything in one snapshot, and what stood out for me were a couple of things. Number one, up and close to the router, you can see there's no signal degradation. The speed is exactly the same. Going furthest away from the router, you can see that the signal is virtually the same. 146, 162, 130, it's roughly the same but the biggest fluctuation happened in the middle range, where the signal really, really dropped from 1134 to 612 to as low as 162. 
So whatever you do, don't stick your router inside a metal container. Not that you would, but just don't. Another cool thing to notice here is that the plastic and the tin foil had the exact same signal degradation, regardless whether it was in the middle range or in the furthest range. So what does all this mean? To get the most out of your Wi-Fi, you want it in an open area as much as possible. You want to place it away from things like thick walls and metal home appliances and basically anything else that can interfere with the signal so you get the best fast internet speed at all times. Now it is worth noting that if you live in a small apartment or you have an open plan layout, you could find that simply hiding your Wi-Fi in a cupboard actually degrades the signal but not significant enough to cause any issues. So experiment with this yourself and let me know if you find that hiding your router makes any difference to you. If you want more Wi-Fi router tips and tricks, check out this video over here or check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you will love. Hit the head down here to subscribe and I'll see you in this video or this video or I'll see you in both. Let's go.